Hey guys, so um, I just got inspired to make a video. Someone just made a post um, and I, um, I commented saying, I'm just getting reminded everything is perception and anything that doesn't feel good is part of the illusion. Give our thoughts and feelings that don't feel good to our spirit team, which then leaves space for them to fill it with truth. And then you get perception change, which is reality jumping and increasing your vibrations. Ding. <laughs> One second. So, um, they, they thanked me and then they asked some questions, which I figured I would, um, I got kind of inspired to turn my camera on and go through them on here. So, um, they first asked, why are we so eager to give away things that don't feel good? Uh, we all pretty much start off with resisting doing that. Um, everyone does to a certain extent, some more stronger than others, but we all pretty much do for the most part because for various reasons, but because a big one is because, um, so the biggest reason is because it's afraid of going back and facing home source, the oneness who we truly are, pure love. Um, because we ended up indulging in this, we feel this guilt, which we don't need to feel anymore. Um, but that's the ultimate reason. Um, but dialing it down a little bit, um, using it as a tool. It's been a tool for survival, really, which they point out, you know, are there not lessons to be learned in feeling this way? Um, you know, in feeling uncomfortable about something. So making certain decisions, um, who to trust, places to go, all that kind of stuff that's part of the illusion of chaos and separation and duality that isn't true and for us in order for us to break out of the illusion in order for us to reach full enlightenment in order for us to reach our full awareness our full abilities in order for um but that's just it we already have it but in order for it to allow us to come back into it our awareness to open up to it for it to come fully online for new earth ding for new earth to come fully online you have to let the dense stuff go the stuff that's not real because that other stuff that true the true reality it's high 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 vibration there's no room for the density so you have to let the dense stuff go in order to get to that place one sec so as you increase your vibration your perception changes and perception change is actually reality jumping because it's your vibrations are rising up now again i'm just going to just add a little side note here this is stuff that's been talked about since the beginning even people like einstein literally said this is a reality a world of made from made of vibration and all we need to do is tune to the right frequency do you guys hear the woodpecker i need to look up the spiritual meaning of woodpeckers um hang on this is really cool. So I don't know if you guys could hear it, but there is a woodpecker. Um, I, it's actually, I've been hearing it every morning for like the past few days now. It's for the past at least, what, three days, I think. Um, I noticed it before a little while ago, but it's been consistent. Every morning, right outside my window, this woodpecker comes and like pecks at like the side of my building, um, right outside my window. Um, so it says here, in many ancient cultures, the symbolism of the woodpecker is associated with wishes, luck, prosperity, and spiritual healing. Other cultures consider the woodpecker to represent hard work, perseverance, strength, and determination. They are also among the most intelligent and smartest birds in the world. And we're talking about enlightenment and ascension. And um, this is, this is work. This is work that we do. And it's not that it's hard work as in you're sweating, like as in, <clears throat> no, you do sweat. <laughs> when you purge, you can sweat. Um, it's not that it's hard work as in you have to labor day in and day out with a lot of you know i have to get up and do a nine to five kind of thing it's hard work as in because it's intense um it's intense and it's repetitive and it can feel endless and it can feel redundant and it can feel like you're never getting anywhere and it can feel pointless until all of a sudden boom you hit that breakthrough and then things start changing and you go whoa this stuff's actually real and it's working and these, these, these places of ascension and enlightenment is actually true. You know, these, these, these feelings of feeling lighter and dense feelings being sucked out of you and being able to see energy, not just, not just, and it's not just them coming, like presenting to you because they've had to lower themselves down. It's because you've raised up to them and they're coming back. Like it's not, then that's just that they're not just coming back. We're, we're meeting up with them and we don't have to struggle anymore. And that's just it. You end up going into the natural flow of things. 
and there's no struggle anymore. You don't need to hold on to that stuff because you've opened up when you give. It's it's when you give. Okay, so I'm going to I'm trying to uh, do an ex I want to do an example. Like um a friend and I talked about this the other day and she did something similar when we were talking about this. Um okay, so here. So we've got, all right, so we've got here, I wish I could do it where these are like, all right, so we've got, here we've got these three pipe cleaners that are yellow, and these are, these are, this is true reality, this is true thoughts, true, um, true reality, this is everything beautiful, good, everything that feels good, pure love nothing bad, nothing dense. Okay. And there's this barrier here. And these are our thoughts. It's not like a solid barrier. It's like, um, what you could say, maybe the veil, I guess. So then these are egos thoughts, our thoughts of things that scare us that tell us that things are bad, not good, dangerous. So, um, this person is bad because of this reason. I feel this way about this person because of this reason. Give that to spirit. You give that to spirit. Spirit takes it. And then they're able, that clears that space. So now they're able to bring this in. And that brings, pulls this down a little bit. This veil, our amnesia, the oblivion. This place is bad and scary because of this reason. You give that to spirit, it goes away. And then they replace it with the true thought of reality. And then this situation from my past was bad because of this reason. You give that to spirit, it disappears. And then they replace it with the true thought. And then, and as you've done that each time, this barrier has gone down just a little more, a little more, a little more, eventually until there is no, there is no illusion of separation. Because again, that's not true. None that, that, that I, that illusion of separation is not true. So what thoughts are they replacing it with? So this person is bad because of this. Well, what is actually true is there is no good or bad, right or wrong. And they played a role. And in some way we've agreed to go through that and for not in some way we've agreed to go through it and it's been for some reason one or the other because of a lesson we wanted to learn or because we were kind of getting off track in the way we wanted to go so we asked our team to come in and do something to help kick our butts going to back into track there's always a reason for that and so that false perception from ego gets replaced from the to the truth of reality so it clears that space up for spirit to put that in there and we're put into a natural flow of things and it's it gets easier and easier and easier and as you vibrate higher and higher and higher you're in a reality that um vibrates also higher because the in external reflects the internal so you are going to come into contact with more and more other people who are reflecting that back at you also so you're getting more and more love and support fear is false evidence appearing real it's a program that we all created in order to indulge in the illusion of separation and chaos and duality in order to play this way because we just had the thought of what if and it pff, exploded into this and then we kind of all subconsciously went oh shit but now we're finally it's taken us a long time but now we're finally here a long time. If we're going to look at time as linear, which it's not, but if we're looking at time as linear, it's taken us a long time, but here we are. I, I know many, if, if you guys follow other mediums, there's many other mediums that have talked about a lot of energies incarnating right now and has been for a little while because of what's happening right now. What's happening right now is huge. There's massive shifts happening. We are connected and that's just it too. We are, science even proves this. We are connected. We are all connected. Energy is connected. We're connected into oneness. We share the same consciousness. So it's impossible for us as we fix ourselves to not fix the collective. As you fix yourself, you fix the collective. It's a lot of energetic and telepathic work along then and then it flows into the physical. Because then even when you think about it, 
this this reality isn't even actually physical it's not actually solid again science proves that not nothing is actually solid nothing solid it's atoms just moving close together nothing's actually solid so we've been playing within a dense way of energy moving but now we're moving up into a highway a highway we're on the highway moving upward into um the re the true reality which is vi which high vibrates high um so we don't need to indulge in those bad versus good feelings because we don't need to navigate survival anymore we don't need that and again, this I'm, I can also say from personal experience, the more you surrender to your spirit team, it feels like you're giving up control, but you're actually going into control. It's the ego and the illusion that's saying we, we need to we need to hold on to this since we have to control things ourselves. The thing is, our higher selves is actually who and what we are. Our full awareness is what we actually are. And our team is here to help us back into that remembrance. You give everything to your team and they take care of you. You literally don't need to do anything and they can bring you everything. You just need to have faith and be open to it. And how you get to that is by doing this thought work. You give whatever you get the thoughts and feelings that don't feel good to your team. I'll link the video that I made about this just, I think it was yesterday, um, in the description below. If you want to go back, um, it was yesterday, the day before, if you want to go back and be like, what are you talking about? If you haven't seen that, if you don't know, if you haven't heard me speak on it, if you haven't heard others speak on it, then you can go and take a look at that link and see what I'm talking about when it comes to that. But, um, it very much is, oh, well, I just kind of, I just actually, oh, I just kind of showed you with the example of the pipe cleaners, duh. But if you want a bit more of a detailed explanation and like the other stuff that I do along with it, then um, check that link out. But um, yeah, it's, it's a tool that we've used for survival that we don't need anymore, especially as our full abilities come online. The things that we can do, you know, there's a reason why you've heard the humans only use 10% of our brain. It's more like we've only used 10% of our abilities. And we've only been using 10% of our awareness. We don't need those things for survival anymore because we vibrate so high and our full abilities and full awareness come online. Um, so, and that is actually, that is our intuition. Our intuition is from spirit. And the thing is, it's a natural flow and it just happens and it's easy and it's not struggle. That is our intuition. What doesn't feel good and what's giving you that, oh, no, bad, that's ego. Ego can fluff you up in a way that once you, when you're looking down on others, ego, ego, when you're being fluffed up where it's like hierarchy, that's ego. When you're being pushed down, that's ego. When it's neutral, joy, compassion, equal, that is true reality. And it's really beautiful. It's so beautiful. Um, our desire for comfort and to feel good. Again, that's ego. And the thing is, is true reality. That's the truth. Reality, it does feel good. It feels so good. You just, you're in joy and laughter and bliss all the time. You don't need, we don't need that perception of density in order to be in that state. We just are, and it's beautiful. Um, let's see here. And I'm just going to pause this for a second. I don't know why I keep saying, hang on when I pause. It's not like you guys have to wait for me to hit play again. <laughs> I hit play, hit record. Oh, words. <laughs> um, they said, um, feeling bad about something is often the catalyst for doing good. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. Let me process that again. Hang on. I really like what this person said here about that. Feeling bad about something is often the catalyst for doing good. That's, a, that's really interesting. It's reminding me of like tower moments. We go through a tower moment and then we get a breakthrough. That's kind of, that's a little bit of what, that's very much kind of the idea that he's, he's on, this person is on, um, without saying it quite the same way. Um, it's more like, and that's just it. It's, it's, it brings you an awareness. So, um, 
I don't want to get into details. I'm not going to get into details, but things that, that, that we go through and perceive that don't, things that we perceive that we go through that don't feel good always brings us an awareness or a lesson from it. But that lesson, what that is doing, what those lessons are actually doing is bringing us into our full awareness and our full abilities into full enlightenment, into bringing new earth online, bringing our full abilities online, bringing our full awareness online. And what is that? High vibration, it's true reality, which is high vibrational, which is feel good. You cannot bring what doesn't feel good with you. So these lessons that we go through, that we put ourselves through, absolutely, he, he's correct in saying that it, it's a catalyst for doing good, but that is putting, saying doing good is putting, going through something bad is a catalyst for doing something good is, so I really like that because it's a, it's a very, um, it's a very good example to, for people who might not understand tower moments, it's a good way to kind of introduce someone to a tower moment, but to zoom out more on that comment, there is judgment within that comment, which is not bad on his end. Like I said, it's a beautiful freaking statement. I love what he said, but there is that judgment. Now zoom out again. Remember, there is no good or bad, right or wrong. So it's going through certain, navigating through certain perceived experiences in order to help us come in back online into our full awareness and full abilities and in doing so ushering new earth online. And then we all get to live in bliss and joy together with our loved ones that we've perceived have transitioned home, but they're really, they're here with us. They've been with us the entire time. Death has been like the biggest joke play, played on humanity. So um, that is pretty much what I have to say about that. I hope it makes sense. Um, got, <laughs> I have like, I don't even know what that is, like some sort of old stain on my shirt. That I've, I've washed this a million times but anyway um I don't know what that is anyway and now I just got insecure about there being a stain on the sleeve of my shirt <laughs> ridiculous so I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna do my thought work there we go that is part of the illusion of chaos separation and duality that doesn't feel good that's even illusion the illusion of you guys, everyone is going to judge me right now because I've got to stand on my shirt. My mind is spinning on all the, on, on all the things. My mind is spinning on all the things. So I'm going to breathe for a second. I'm picturing Eric, Archangel Uriel, Robin Williams, Ding, Archangel Raphael. Um, and I'm just saying I just started to feel insecure. My mind is spinning. And the thought that goes with that is I'm feeling that way because um, I'm now afraid that anyone who's watching this that there may be people watching this who are going to now judge me for the fact that I have a stain on my sweater that I can't get rid of because God knows what they're thinking about me. And I just shove that into their heart chakras, into their chest, and I'm saying thank you. And now what I would do is do like five things I appreciate, but I just, I'm, I can do that after. Um, so there we go. Um, yeah, I hope that explains some things. Um, makes sense all that fun stuff. <laughs> May 7th, I am going to be channeling Walt Disney live on Facebook. Um, the link to the event will be down below. Um, through that, you'll be able to find my Facebook um, group, Learn, Laugh, Love. You can also find my Facebook profile um, and whatnot. So feel free to check that stuff out. And yeah, thank you guys for everything. I love you all very much. Uh, I hope this made sense. <laughs> and yeah i love you all thank you for everything and always as always words today words always words going forward words <laughs> all right i love you guys as always i was like what is that oh my water bottle all right <laughs> as always have a wonderful now